These days, it is not uncommon for Windows updates to screw up your computer. But here is a particularly interesting case. So let's say you get a file called critical windows update and you're a novice user. You probably run it, right? Because all the security experts and enthusiasts and the guy at the PC security channel recommend that you do your critical security updates. Well, that may not be such a good idea. Meet Phantom. Yeah, like the ghost thing, the Phantom, but with an F. Why is it called that? I don't know, maybe it's just that ransomware developers don't know how to spell. So this thing is fairly recent and it disguises itself as a.exe or some random executable and once you run it, it pretends to be Windows Update. So it runs as the Windows Updater screen. It actually even has a progress indicator, but once that's done, your files are encrypted and you're pretty much doomed. It uses an AES 128-bit cipher. As far as my knowledge goes, I don't think there are any decryptors as of now. But if you do happen to find one, please, you know, just comment it on the video so it can help out someone who might be affected by this. As you can see from the signatures, it is detected as Trojan Ransom, Trojan Malware. I mean, AV companies are just lazy these days. Nobody has time to name every single threat specifically. But as you can see, the phantom thing does occur several times. If we go down to the malware byte signature, it is called Ransom Phantom. And Sophos do that as well. So a lot of phantoms in here. Phantom Crypt, Trend Micro. And some big name companies still don't have a signature for it. Komodo, I'm looking at you. Why are you guys so bad at signatures? I mean, come on, add it to your engine already. But I'm pretty sure their sandbox is going to take care of it. Baidu, again, missing out on this one. 360, don't have a signature. But if you're using the other Bitdefender or Vera engines, you're probably good since they do detect it. So enough of boring you guys with these sophisticated details, let's go ahead and run the file and see what happens, because that's fun. But before that, I'm going to show you what it actually disguises itself as. It actually does a really good job. It calls itself Critical Update, that's in the file description as well. It has a file version, product name Critical Update KB01, again, that's the way Microsoft names their files, so a novice user could totally fall for this. And it even has a copyright, Microsoft 2016. The file size is quite appropriate too, 261 kilobytes. So it's totally plausible that a lot of users are not going to be able to distinguish between this and an actual update. So now I'm just going to run it. Once again, kids, don't do this at home. This is not Windows Update. If anyone is still confused or something, this is a piece of ransomware that will destroy your files. So far, I don't notice anything, but I'm pretty sure the payload has launched. As you can see, critical update, 32-bit, now responding. Probably take a while to encrypt our files. There you go. Configuring critical Windows updates, 1% complete. And as you can see, this is a very good um, fake loading screen as well. A normal user wouldn't guess. And I can notice that the font isn't exactly the same, but I doubt if grandma could do that. The funny thing is, you can actually close this out just by pressing Alt F4, but that doesn't fix anything because it's still going to be encrypting your files in the background. This is just the front end, the GUI, if you will, of the ransomware. So I'm just going to exit out of this and see what's happening to our files. Well, actually, I can't do that. It's kind of hung up. Or oh, we're screwed. Um, yeah, system stuck, so we just have to sit and wait. I might just go ahead and reset the system, because that would be interesting. Does the ransomware continue if I reboot my computer or does that kill it? Let's see. So I'm just going to reset the machine and let's see what happens. Because it is possible that someone might do that. Although it is recommended not to reset your computer during Windows updates. Hmm, seems like system booted successfully. 
but our files are pretty much done as you can see decrypt your files that's all you see over here all your files have been encrypted send your ID and key to this email address or you are not going to get them back doesn't even mention the payment amount over here just gives you a key and uh, that's it it actually does change your background as far as I know but maybe because I terminated it prematurely it wasn't able to do that so yeah your system's still usable everything's fine if you didn't have anything important you can just go ahead and delete the threat I don't even think it created a startup item let's take a look well actually it did um, it's just to give you the message to decrypt your files but as soon as you remove this I guess you have a working system of course your files are going to be gone so typical ransomware new design but it's pretty much the same when it comes to the back end of things but it's interesting to see the new disguises or masquerades that they're throwing at users so I hope you enjoyed this um, quick ransomware demonstration. Stay tuned because there are going to be a lot more fun malware demonstrations coming up. And hey, if you can, just support me on Patreon by going to patreon.com slash tpsc. And a big shout out to Arthur for his support. I'm sorry if I couldn't say your name right, but I really appreciate it. So yeah, if you guys want to help out, you can do that. Some of the perks are going to be that you'll be able to communicate with me more directly. You'll have access to the Patreon feed. And of course, you'll be getting these rewards as mentioned. So check it out if you can. I'll be very grateful if you do actually decide to drop me anything. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. It's great to have you here. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. This is Leo. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.